Hi everybody, this is Matt. And now our topic for today is know your heart's electrolytes. Electrolytes uh, permit the electrical discharge of the heart muscle cell, the myocyte. And important uh, is that these electrolytes are in a certain balance between the inside of the cell, called intracellular, and the outside of the cell, which is called extracellular. So anyways, uh, the four main electrolytes involved in this are first the intracellular electrolytes, and they are potassium and sodium, and the extracellular electrolytes, and those are calcium and magnesium. Calcium also plays an important role in the structure of uh, bones. So for strong bones and teeth, you need calcium, which comes from uh, primarily milk products as an important source. Magnesium is very important. Again, that's extracellular. And the intracellular uh, ions are potassium, a good source being uh, tomatoes and bananas, and uh, sodium, which no one really has a problem with because almost everyone has too much sodium chloride or salt in their diet, so that tends never to be a problem. Too high of sodium level can cause problems like high blood pressure. Too low a sodium level can cause problems like seizures. Too high a potassium level can cause problems like death. Because if your potassium level is too high, your heart stops. You don't want that. So, and too low a potassium level cause, causes uh, specific heart rhythm problems. So to wrap up our little presentation on electrolytes, we have a little diagram. And this, actually, this is kind of neat. This is not the heart cell, but this is, if I can get this to show up right, this is the nerve cell. And anyways, over here on the side, and look carefully, in depiction number 19 is the heart muscle cell. And above it, we have a muscle cell that is depiction 18. And at the very bottom, we have a bone cell. So anyways, but in the middle, again, number 19 is the heart muscle cell. So, anyways, it's important to have this appropriate balance with the electrolytes. Otherwise, the heart muscle, which really is, or the heart, is an electromechanical pump. It first has to start with electrical activity. That is the exchange of these ions from the resting state to the depolarized state where ions go from their intracellular position and their extracellular position and they cross the membrane and that activity of crossing the membrane discharges the cell. The coordinated action of the myocytes discharging causes the heart muscle tissues to contract and the contraction is the mechanical part. And the mechanical part pumps blood. That's why it's an electromechanical pump. So it all starts really with the electrolytes. And keep in mind again, the intracellular uh, at the resting state, the intracellular electrolytes are primarily sodium and potassium and the extracellular are calcium and magnesium. And when the heart cell depolarizes, that balance shifts 
and you get the depolarization of the cell and the coordinated depolarization of the myocytes causes the heart muscle tissues to contract and that pumps the blood and that's the end of the story for today see you later